And Stephen Smith is on the Democratic ticket for West Virginia governor, and he's on his fourth tour of the state. Newswatch reporter Anna Saunders takes us to the old Natal School Gym in Lookout, where he stopped for a town hall. This is our 170th town hall across the state. Now, we think if we want a government of, by, and for the people, then we have to have a campaign that actually listens to people. So that's what Saturday's town hall was all about, listening to the people and sharing his own ideas and what Smith thinks makes his campaign unique. We're the only campaign that doesn't take corporate PAC money, the only campaign with a union staff, the only campaign that not only broke but doubled the previous record of small dollar donations. This campaign is owned by the people of this state, and that means coming to places like this. And it was an interactive town hall as he brought volunteers up to play the roles of politicians, out-of-state property owners, and West Virginia voters as he demonstrated how the higher-ups are taking away seats from the people. Those in the audience raised concerns about the opioid epidemic, the decline in the coal industry, and people leaving the state at a rapid pace. Smith responded by talking platform, saying he wants to put price caps on medicine and health insurance, offering both public and private options. Smith also supports putting in a wealth tax and a workers' bill of rights, reversing right to work. What we're doing is taking the wealth that's been stolen from us over the last few generations and putting it back in the hands of the people who actually create it. That's true of property tax, individual taxes, roads and schools. You can see all of it online in black and white. But Smith says he hasn't just created a platform, but a movement that says West Virginia can't wait. There are 89 of us who have signed on to run campaigns that don't take corporate cash and never cross a picket line. And more important than that, we've got literally thousands of volunteers knocking on doors and getting involved in their communities across the state. Again, if we want a government that belongs to us, we've got to fight back and take it. Reporting in Lookout, I'm Anna Saunders, Newswatch. Smith headed to Raleigh County this afternoon and will be in Summers County tomorrow.